Hello and welcome to Ticket News TV. In this edition, we bring you the very latest news and developments affecting the concerts, sports, and theater industries worldwide. Ticket resale legislation was simultaneously up for debate on New York and New Jersey state levels. The Empire State's legislature is debating its potential use of paperless ticketing. Primary ticket sellers, including Ticketmaster, argue that the paperless format protects consumers. Large ticketing firms and ticket brokers are against the use of paperless ticketing, arguing that it gives customers fewer options and severely limits transferability. In New Jersey, a legislative committee just approved a measure that would cap the premium on the in-person resale of tickets. In addition, it prohibits the resale of tickets by promoters before they are released for sale to the general public. On the technology front, StubHub inked a deal with ESPN in early June in an aggressive move to secure its position in the mobile ticketing marketplace. The deal marks StubHub's second move into the mobile ticketing space following the recent launch of an iPhone and iPod Touch app for selling tickets. Mobile ticketing is currently more popular in Europe, but the technology is quickly catching on in the U.S. In concert news, Beatle legend Paul McCartney announced another date for his upcoming set of North American concerts. McCartney's summer tour, titled Up and Coming, is set to begin on July 10th at AT&T Park in San Francisco, California. The tour will end on August 18th at the New Console Energy Center in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. McCartney will return to the Copia Center in Philadelphia for the first time in five years on August 14th. Classic rock icon Roger Waters is set to start the North American leg of his concert tour in the fall. Due to an overwhelming demand for tickets, an additional four shows will be added in North America. Waters is scheduled for four performances at Chicago's United Center, starting September 20, 2010. Back east in New York City, Broadway experienced a mini slump of ticket sales at the box office. Totals dropped about 1.5 million, going from 22.5 million for the previous reporting period to just over 20 million in early June. Despite the lag in overall sales, a handful of Broadway favorites continue to perform well including Wicked, The Lion King, The Addams Family, Promises Promises, Billy Elliot, Fences, and Jersey Boys. In sporting news, the World Cup is underway for the first time on African soil in Johannesburg, South Africa. The FIFA tournament will host 64 matches featuring the world's best soccer players through the end of June. Public on sales of most tickets were held in May. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Ticket News TV. Be sure to join us at the upcoming Ticket Summit Summer Conference in July. Hundreds of ticket industry and live entertainment professionals will be holding sessions, forums, and product demonstrations. The conference will take place July 14th through 16th, 2010 at the Venetian Resort Hotel Casino in Las Vegas. For daily updates on industry developments, visit TicketNews.com. In Vernon, Connecticut, I'm Kim Crandall.